Come on, where is it? There we go, we're live. Come on, where is it? We're live. Where is it? It always takes a second. Where is it? <laughs> I don't see it. We're there. Uh, no, no, no. Uh. <laughs> Uh -uh. There we oh go. Oh my god. So it's it's exactly a 14 second delay in that case. That's longer than I thought. I thought it was like 10 seconds. Oh yeah. Oh, you shut up. I was looking at the live fortune. Oh, it was exactly 50 seconds. Just shut up. Abby! Abby! Hi, Snowfox. Hi, Rick. Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Where's Verity? Did I kill the Verity? There we go. Verity. I thought I killed her. What did you do now? Uh, stuff. Huh? Verity got a sneak peek of something that no one else has gotten yet. Oh. Yeah. Oh man, they messaged me about that shit. What, what did you tell him? Uh, <laughs> hold on. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't actually uh tell her anything. Hold on. What do you mean? There you go. <laughs> I messaged you. I'm she K is here. Oh, I, I yeah. see. I yeah yeah yeah. I see. I I see. Yeah yeah. Yeah, Verity I is see. uh Verity's having trouble right now. <laughs> Verity's eating good. <laughs> yum yum yum. Verity's feasting. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Absolute banquet. Susie. Susie. Okay. <laughs> so I choke myself. Okay. <laughs> oh. Hey, back to your... Yeah. So many peoples. So yeah, welcome everybody. Uh, so I have some fun news for you guys. Actually, I realized as I was doing the uh, visuals for G-Night, we're going to work on probably just one of the panels here and maybe another in another stream, but uh, there's only four left for we're chapter so two. We're so close. There's only four panels left. And G-Knight has done so fucking good. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Oh yeah, I think I can- I think it's about time that uh -huh. I tell everyone why I've been so slow on these. <laughs> Don't you think? Oh, uh, the medical I think, stuff? Yeah, I think it's about time. Yeah. Do they know? <laughs> do okay. they know? I mean, we've, we've mentioned it loosely, but I don't- I don't really like to- I've just- tell I've just mentioned med yeah. medical shit. It's yeah. fine. I'm, I won't go into many details. I'll just, like, tell- say the nutshell shit. Yeah, go so for it. So, ba basic, basically, uh, it's been- it's been a lot of fun, guys. You got you got you guys don't know. <laughs> I- I'm having- I'm having a great- a grand old time over here. So, at the start of the year, uh, I got- I got too quirky on New Year, and I had a hangover. Uh, and then- uh, you know, I it was it's been my first ever hangover, so I was fucking dying like, like shit. I was feeling like shit on the first, and I thought I had drank enough water after my hangover to no. to hydrate again. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, because a week later, I I just got I just got fucking struck down with the might of of Jesus into the ground with a dis a wave of dizziness, and I had to go to emergency where they checked me out, and they were like. Drink some fucking water, bro. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, and then, uh, and then it, it got even more fun because I, I I started drinking water and I got my Gatorades and shit, so I was back to good health <laughs> until I caught a fucking virus. At first, I thought it was flu or the worst case scenario, COVID. I went out to emergencies again because said virus uh, was making me feel dizzy and just like shit. So I went to emergency again. And they didn't they, fucking they, tell him what it they, was. They, 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 didn't even, they didn't diagnose me. They just said, hey bro, you're it's still a little dehydrated. Yeah. yeah, they were like, so this is a virus. We can't do anything about it, buddy. Good luck on that. So I was like, oh. And what virus, what virus is it that? They, they, they didn't tell me whether it was COVID or flu or shit. So I just, I just, I just, I just fucking, you know, I, I, I just, I just pulled through. I, I, I just said fuck it. I took my, took my meds. <laughs> uh, I, I, I was good and stayed in bed. I rested. I got better, or at least I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I got better. 
uh, until the way uh, the waves of dizziness didn't uh, go away. They they still lingered, and then I had uh, respiratory problems and shit. And then one night I was watching Shin Godzilla with Khaled. With me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was watching Shin Godzilla with Khaled. And midway through the movie, I was like, "Hey, I think I need to go to emergency." <laughs> Like, they, and they were I, getting ready to, like, bomb Godzilla, and you're like, yeah. I, hey, I need to go to the emergency room. And I was like, oh my god, are you okay? And you were like, yeah, I don't feel good. And I was like, okay. I feel great. <laughs> yes! I had to stop Yeah, moving. so then, so then I, I, uh, the next day, I, um, well, not the next day, but a, a few days later, uh, my mom had the bright idea of going to just a completely different doctor because the one I'm looking at, uh, uh, my main doctor just uh, wasn't doing shit to help me. So we just went to her doctor, who is a fucking Latino man. So he, he knew his shit. If you want a good doctor, guys, start, look for a Latino guy. <laughs> I can confirm this. My new psychiatrist is Latino and he actually knows what the fuck he's talking about. Yeah, because <laughs> here's the thing. I went to this new doctor. I barely told him any of my symptoms, and he was like, All right, bro, you seem to have this. The symptoms that you could be having, apart from what you've told me, is yada, 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 yada. And then he literally fucking pinpointed out every fucking other side effect and, and fucking um, just what everything I was feeling. I was like, Oh my god, he knows this stuff. <laughs> Does he know? And it turns out that uh, the virus that I had caught was not a flu or COVID. It was RSV, mm -hmm. which is a type of COVID that inflammates your ears mm -hmm. and 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 your 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 cervicals, and therefore your brain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he gave me new meds to to decrease <laughs> the inflammation in my ear, and I I just pulled through with that fucking shit for like two weeks. And I still have dizziness. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I... I I went I went to him again. He's like, he checks me out. He's like, well, you're not, your ears are not inflammated. Your throat is looking fine. Um, and then he, he, he like poked around on the back of my neck and my nape. And he's like, you, you still feel very stiff from here. So then he, he looks at me and he's like, this is either your inner ear is still inflammated. So the, the fucking smell, mm -hmm. the smell that, the smell that whispers to me, not unholy things, it's inflammated <laughs> still, or this is this is like a problem with cer my cervical shit. Mm -hmm. So because I've been sitting in, in like a shrimp for almost half a year drawing and just working and 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 shit with my PC, I probably have now neck neck and back problems. <laughs> so that's <laughs> so that's what causing my dizziness. Because here's the thing, with cer with cervical dizziness, it, 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 your muscles and all of your nerves are very stiff. So. They have problems uh, giving nutrients and oxygen to your brain. Uh -huh. So that is, so that's what causes the dizziness or vertigo that I'm feeling. Uh -huh. And the weird shortness of breath that I've had. Because I thought it was just from the COVID side effects. Or, well, the RSV. Because that fucked my lungs really badly. So I was yeah. like, all right, all right, well, maybe my lungs still need time to heal. That's why I have the breathing problems. But no, it could be the cervical shit. So now... I gotta go soon to uh, emergency because they just won't answer my fucking phone. Uh, don't worry, guys. I'm fine. I'm not going to emergency because I'm fucked up. I'm going. Be I'm going to emergency because that's that is the only fucking place they'll pay attention to me. We got. So also, I'm gonna go there and also, I'm gonna get a fucking appointment. You were getting the uh, the side effects from some of the medication they gave you too. I remember, yeah. like, I, I started reading you the side effects and you were like, "Oh shit, that's literally everything I'm feeling right now." Uh huh. I was like, you should stop taking that. I love how <laughs> Snoozy said, Genite on the brink of death about to explode. Yo, I think I might need to visit the docs. <laughs> I think I might need to go real quick. <laughs> Bro, between you and me, we've been just a giant medical mess this past, like, year. Uh, it's, I gotta tell you guys, it's been, it's been a great start to 2024. <laughs> it's, been, it's been great. <laughs> Hopefully we both just get better this year that'd be nice I mean, i'm pulling uh, through at least most of the bad bad shit is gone so now it really is only this annoying fucking vertigo that i have left which uh, i'm 90 percent is cervical stuff because i just I, I i don't feel anything in my ear anymore like i don't feel any any like pain i don't feel anything 
my neck fucking hurts because I was doing exercises specifically for cervical problems. Yeah. So, you know, that that's what led me to believe. It's like, all right, yeah, it's this shit. <laughs> uh, I'm very... 90% sure, but I still want, you know, I, a doctor to be like, yeah, yeah, that's what's going on. Yeah, Verity, cervical res- uh, is specifically talking about a specific area in your neck. Uh, yeah. I don't know what other meaning you uh, are, are equating it to, but that's that, like, if you Google it, that's like the first thing that pops up is, is part of your neck. Yup. Mm-hmm. So it's been, it's been fine. Yeah. Yeah. G-Night's been going through that. And then I've been extra slow at writing chapter nine of Star Palace because, uh, so my new psychiatrist has, uh, we're, we're trying to get me back on my old mood stabilizers because some of the, the other stuff that I could possibly go on has a lot of side effects, and I get side effects very easily. Uh, and uh, on one hand, it's been going good. On the other hand, I have been insanely tired, and there's been a few days where I've just slept through the entire day. Uh, and emotions. So, you know, stuff and things. Gotta get used to it again, so... We've been going on a wild ride. <laughs> I think we both want to get off. <laughs> want to get off the coaster now. I want to get off. I, I want like off. coasters. <laughs> coasters hurt my neck. Verity says, nah, I Google cervical and all I get is cervix. I've, I've been so confused. Hold on. Well, cervix is like the fancy way doctors call it, don't they? Uh, I don't know. I think that's like the specific muscle that they refer to when that problem happens. Let me see what cervix is. Ah, so I see what you mean. So cervix is the lower narrow end of the uterus. So I think what oh. you're thinking of is cervical cancer. Hold on. Oops. That's not it. Yeah, so cervix and cervical cancer is stuff having to do with the uterus, but the actual cervical is uh, your cervical spine. So I think, I guess, yeah. I guess the better way to think about it would be cervical spine rather than just cervical. But like, uh, yeah. what does cervical pain mean? Uh, does pain in or around your spine beneath your head? So yep. it's all about the context. Yep. Terry says that's like the world's shittiest roller coaster. Yeah, <laughs> I've been on it for a year. I want to get off. <laughs> I want out. Susie says also completely off topic, but Zavi, yeah. Hi, Chibi. MCK says I hope you guys start to feel better soon. Even just being ill for a long time completely floors you. But going through all of that, G Night must have been awful. Oh, it's been, it's been, it's been a time, I gotta tell you, but I, I, I'm pulling through, guys. Yay. <laughs> Bex says, congrats dying. on the uterus tonight. Wow. <laughs> no. Yeah, it is really weird, actually, that it's referred to as cervical cancer if the cervical is literally part of your neck. I don't know, man. I, guess know, they, I looked at, I looked that up for the first time and I was like, you can get cancer on your spine? Oh wait, no, never mind. Yeah. Damn poor G Knight cervix. <laughs> <laughs> My poor cervix has been destroyed. <laughs> MCK says endless love for both of you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. It's been an adventure. I would like it to stop. Or at least slow down, you know? If we if we, we changed it from a big coaster into a kitty coaster, that'd be more tolerable. You know? You know the, the, the worst part is that I don't think um, the the cervical spine thing can be fixed with meds. It's purely just therapy and exercise. Yeah. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm here like, no! <laughs> yeah, and like I said, the, uh, the chiropractor will probably help. Because chiropractors also can help with physical therapy. And so they can... Uh, they can get you stretching. Um, like I said, massage would probably help because that will actually like relax the muscles, which would make doing stretches easier after the fact. Speaking as someone yeah. who went to massage school. <laughs> 
Sorry, Mike messaged me. Vicky. I should probably close my window. The fucking work side is back on track. <laughs> I know. Motherfucker. <laughs> we'll kill them all. That's a joke, Mr. FBI. <laughs> there we go. Snow Fox's fingers crossed, and I hope things get easier for you guys. Thank you. Oh my god, Cherry says the kind you find at fairgrounds. I don't know if I would want the kind of roller coaster that you find at fairgrounds because those look like they're going to fall apart. That's that's insta death if anything goes wrong. I don't want to be on that kind of roller coaster if we're talking health wise. <laughs> I just don't want to be in roller coasters, thank you. <laughs> but you're gonna have to go on the one in uh, How to Train Your Dragon. Mm. Just once, you gotta do it for toothless. No, I got you. I'll hold your hand. I will, I will, I will fucking pass out. <laughs> no! Dude, I was, I was losing oxygen on the fucking mummy ride at Universal. <laughs> How do you think I'm going to survive a fucking roller coaster? Okay, but I, this one won't go backwards. Yeah, it's gonna go upside down and sideways. <laughs> That's worse. <laughs> I'll, I'll go on it first, obviously, because it's going to be a while before we can even get you out here. I'll go on it first. I'll give you a rating. I'll let you know how it is in comparison to the mummy. This rating is trash. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. I took G Night and Reed to Universal in California, and uh, they went on the mummy with me once, and then they refused to even like look at it again. I went on it two more times by myself. <laughs> Reed and I were standing outside, <laughs> yeah. just debating how the fuck did you enjoy that? <laughs> we were looking at each other like, what? <laughs> oh, I loved it. I was also just really proud of myself that I managed to go on it twice by myself as well, because anxiety do be a thing. But, like, no, I loved it. Mike! Egglord has Mike! arrived! Everyone spam eggs in chat. Yeah! Hello, grenade. <coughs> oh, sorry, I murdered my throat by doing the egg lord wish. Also, Mike's been working on something very special for y'all. We got a we got another character voice coming. Ooh, there may yeah. or there may or may not be a boy I'm also obsessed with. You just entire... gave Mike all the boys you're obsessed with. I didn't mean to. It just happened. I realized Mike probably had the ability to do the voice. And I was like, can you do this? And he was like, yeah, I can manage that. <laughs> Mike just went, whoa, Michael. Oh, because Rainier called him Michael. <laughs> Michael, don't leave me here. He's insulted now. Like, it is either Mike or, or Egg Lord or the Almighty Egg. He draws the light at Mike. <laughs> he does? <laughs> like, whoa, buddy, too far. <laughs> Bimbo! Bimbo's here. Bimbo! Mike says, oh, the formality of it all. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, we we will uh, very soon here have the voice for uh, the the boy who is the entire reason I'm gonna be doing the fucking grape drink tier list in a couple of weeks here. Got any grapes? Got any grapes? Go oh, and mighty egg. Yes, good. Snoozy, what? Huh? Snoozy said, "Mr. Chicken." Period. What? What? Snoozy. Susie. What are you about? <laughs> Nussie <laughs> moment. Susie. <laughs> Sus Nussie moment. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, also, I don't I don't know if everybody here knows, only the people in the patron chat know. Um so I've been a do little obsessed know? with do they know with getting grape flavored drinks because of a de boy. Um and so I've been tasting different ones and everyone was like, you need to do a uh a grape drink tier list video and i was like 
Yeah, all right. So uh, on the 18th, I'm going to be going <laughs> okay. out and, and buying all the drinks. And uh, should we do it as a stream? I think it'd be really funny as a stream. I mean, I don't know. You're cool. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we do it as a stream? Would it be funnier from drinking this stuff live and you get to hear my actual live reactions? <laughs> Verity, what? Snoozy huh? said eggs, Cal, and eggs, and Verity said ch uh, eggs are chicken periods, Cal. No, they lay eggs all the time. What? Huh? huh? I don't think anyone had... wants to be referred to as a period. <laughs> it had to be the Brits. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay, everybody wants it live. All right, we'll do it. We'll do it live. Only if the stream opens with a duck song. Okay, but so I don't get copywritten, I'd have to sing it. We have to get Mike to sing it. Mike, Mike, you want to come into the stream just long enough to sing the, the duck song? <laughs> I mean, you could stay for the whole stream. We love having you in stream. It's funny. It gets extra chaotic when Mike is there. <laughs> <laughs> also you know mike's playing the boy so it, it'd be it'd be very fitting for for mike to be there while i'm raiding grape drinks great grape he looks so flabbergasted <laughs> oh <gasps> Uh, I'm debating whether just do him like a, a shade, uh, like a shade, or just yeah. Yeah. I think it'd be funny. Yeah, you could do shade because uh, also he's behind where the light is, so it makes sense for him not to have that much lighting on him. Or the funny. Verity says, I like how I said something nice to cheer Gina it up, but what gets the attention is me being wrong about avian menstruation. I didn't, I didn't see it, Verity, because Kelly doesn't it. read chat. I'm sorry. Okay, now I see it. I, I saw, I just saw Snoozy screaming eggs, Cal, and eggs, and then I saw Verity <laughs> saying eggs are chicken periods. <laughs> I'm sorry. Verity said, oh, Gina, if it's a measure of uplifting your Verity yells have utterly brain rotted how I read my name in caps. My friend texted me in caps and I literally did an impression of your Verity yell. <laughs> there you go. I found it. Yeah. Snoozy says, Davy looking like a cutie patootie. No. Bibbo said, flabbergasted Zabby, my beloved. Mila says, Cal holds up a grape drink and says, got any grapes? I'd make a good doodle for the thumbnail. No, honestly, I think what would be better is just my soda is just buried underneath a pile of cans and all you see is, like, my hand, like, reaching up for the light <laughs> for help. <laughs> it's just a single hand. Drowning in grapes. Mike says, when are you guys looking to do this grape drink stream? Uh, sometime after the 18th, because that's when I'm picking up all the grape drinks. I have, I have to have, like, a day or two to run around and, like, find... I'm going to be doing uh, a lot of energy drinks as well as sodas, so I have to be able to find a whole bunch of different things to be able to do. So what is, what is the 18th? The 18th is... Oh, literally next Thursday. So we could probably do it the week after, so... Mike's usually available on like Tuesday, so we could do it on the twenty third. Or ba basically, Mike, we'll we'll pick any day that you want on the week that starts in the twenty first. Grapes, yes, exactly. One single can in the pile is black currant instead. Oh, I wish. That'd be funny as shit, actually. If I go to a couple of stores that have international areas, I could see if I can find a black currant drink as well. If you want to make it a Tuesday, we can do another five o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me let me text that to you. So, so Tuesday the twenty third.
You hear that, everybody? That's when we're doing our grape stream. Tuesday the 23rd at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. You heard it here Mark first. Mark your calendar. Yeah. Mila says, I'm not a fan of grape soda because it tastes like that nasty liquid grape medicine. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Grape is either really good or it's really bad and tastes like medicine. Like, oh, oh God, I don't remember which one it was. There's one that I'm going to have to drink again specifically for the stream. And it tastes like dentist gloves. It's awful. Oh, my God. My mini fridge is going to be filled with open grape drinks because I'm not going to be able to drink all of them. Like, not, not the whole can because half of them are going to be energy drinks. Callan, why are you Britishing? Did you use that the idea of black currant drinks contaminate you? I don't know, man. Sometimes I just do silly accent. It just happened. Tuesday. So, Tuesday. Tuesday the 23rd. 5 p.m. Eastern time. Tuesday. 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 Mike said, yes. Yay. Stream time, stream time. <coughs> and while while I'm drinking things, uh, we can also have people ask us Aspen facts. Entirely Aspen stream. You, you say that like I have any facts ready. Uh, we can come up with shit. No, Mike, I swear to God, are you busy that day? I swear to God. No! Never mind. <laughs> Mark it off your calendars. Mike is busy wow. that day. <laughs> Are you mocking us, Callan? I'm not mocking how, you. How dare you bamboozle them, Callan? I didn't bamboozle them. Mike bamboozled me. <laughs> Maybe we could do it that Thursday if everyone's down the same time. So Thursday the 25th? I dab, uh... God damn it, Michael. Don't call him Michael. Oh my god. <laughs> Mike just went psych. <laughs> damn. Snoozy just said, look at Zabby, man. Avoid it happily. Allowed to consume me for real, for real. And Verity said, your attention span decreases dramatically when simping occurs. <laughs> MCK said, Mike, you absolute clown. <laughs> Egg clown. Mike is now, like, possibly the 18th, so I, if I get up early enough, I could probably drive around and do the stuff, maybe. 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 I basically have to hit up Walmart, uh, a couple of gas stations, and Publix. And then, I don't, I don't know, I could always drop stuff off at home and then maybe also try Trader Joe's to see if they have anything, too. Because I, I basically, I have to get grape juice, I have to get grape soda, a uh, couple different ones if I can find different brands, and then I have to find all the energy drinks. Ooh, oh shit, I gotta go to the, I gotta go to the Asian market too, because they have uh, this, I think it's like a jelly thing, so I don't know how much of it I can actually have, but it's a little pouch, a little grape jelly pouch. So, I have specific stops I have to make. Trader Joe's has, like, the best stuff. Yeah, it does. But, yeah, if we do the stream at 5, that should be plenty of time for me to go around and do an insane amount of, of juice shopping. <laughs> and then I'll put them all in my mini fridge and hope that they get cold enough by the time that we do the stream. <laughs> Ooh, 
Um, MCK says, for the stream, everyone has to get a grape or blackcurrant flavored soda or other drink. Oh my god, I realize I'm going to have to do, like, setup too. I'm going to have to po possibly try to take pictures of each one of them and actually make a tier list. <laughs> oh, I can do it. It's fine. I can figure it out. Can you? Maybe. Mike! <laughs> Mike is like that we can just make it the 25th. Pick a day! <laughs> Mike! I swear to god! Quit fooling around, you two. It's not my fault! Does the stream include getting grape sparkling water and grape wine? Well, I mean, a lot of a lot of wine is grape. If I was getting grape wine, I'd be getting a lot of wine, and I can't do that. Uh, we're going to hold off on the alcohol. We're not going to do alcohol. Uh, we're not getting drunk on stream. I mean, I have before, but uh, y'all got to remember, I have, a, I have a stomach disorder, and uh, I, it's, yeah, so I got to be real careful with that kind of stuff. So uh, maybe if I can find, like... You mean like sparkling juice or sparkling water? Because those are two different things. Well, well, there's sparkling flavored water. Well, no, that's what I mean. Oh, so there's there's like so think like sparkling apple cider kind of thing. So there's there's sparkling grape cider, which is like sparkling grape juice. But then there's also sparkling water, which is just like you know carbonated water, which is like a hint of flavor, like someone breathed grapes on it. So that's why I was trying to I was trying to clarify. I was like, they're two different things. No. Yeah, huh? No, and now the police is outside. <laughs> well, they're coming to get you. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. I know what you did. It's the thing you drew last night. I, they're I, coming I for you because they're jealous. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Susie said, let's not completely explode Callan's stomach with alcohol. It's unhealthy for everyone involved. True. <laughs> yeah, I can have like a tiny bit but uh not not a lot anymore <laughs> i'm too old for that sobs <laughs> verity says grape wine my favorite food stuff after apple cider milk cheese wait what do you mean milk cheese why, why are you including those huh? together didn't you say you didn't like cheese Verity, Liar. literally earlier you said you didn't like cheese, and that's why you've never had pizza, and you didn't think that Doritos had other flavors, so that's why you said you didn't have Doritos. Huh? Yeah, Verity's never had Doritos. You did, yeah. Yeah, Verity's never had Doritos before because she didn't realize that it comes in other flavors because uh, Snoozy specifically talked about uh, they have... What is it? Zesty cheese? Not zesty. What was it? Was it was some other kind of cheese? And I was like, do you mean nacho cheese? Is that like the other name for it over there? And Verity was like, I've never had Doritos. I don't like cheese. And I was like, they come in fucking Cool Ranch. That's the superior cool flavor. <laughs> yeah, Snow Fox just said, yeah, Verity, you said in the Discord chat that you hated cheese. And Bimbo just said, you've never had pizza? <laughs> Everyone's the shrod. Uh-huh. You never had pizza. How are you living, bro? Oh, Verity says, Callan, I was making a joke about how grape wine is obvious. Milk cheese is the joke. Yeah, I don't like cheese. Okay. Uh, well, I... I didn't know. There's that's, Here's the thing. The reason why I took that literally is because there are other kinds of wine that aren't grape, like Japanese plum wine. Your joke wasn't obvious, Verity. Plum. Sorry, uh, been choking a lot recently. The fucking oh my god, what did Mike send? Mike, Mike what you doing, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody.
I heard that. So for Gina, I think Mike said a little uh, a little voice thing in the uh, VC chat. If you want to go listen to it real quick. Oh. What 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 he what he say? What the Mike doing? Go listen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Susie says, I thought you were gonna just gonna straight up say your joke wasn't funny there. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Verity. Verity says, although now I'm being put on blast for it, I haven't tried any kind of cheese in like eight years. I am Bruh. saddened by this news. What was that? That was Mike. Mike likes to send me little voice clips of silly voices sometimes. You're funny. You're a funny man. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. Okay, but you know what would be really, really cute if we have the time before the stream next week? Uh, yeah. if you just doodle a tiny little aspen to just sit in the corner of the stream while I rate all the, the grape stuff. Yeah. Yes, bin. Yes, bin. I love him. Yes, bin. Yes, bin. <coughs> Ice bin. Huh. <laughs> Good, you better, better, D. Yep. You fucking better. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I I don't know why my throat's been so fucked up. I actually thought I was getting sick the other day. Oh no. Yeah. You were there for it. Oh yeah. I feel gore. Yeah, there's... Bleh. Sorry. Yeah, there's just been lots of... Uh, bleh. Lots of storms and stuff recently, so they've been kicking up all the tree juice. The tree what? Tree jizz. Huh? The pollen. Oh. It's tree jizz. Oh, fuck also like that weirdest. No. <laughs> Americans uh, are weird. You can no. blame Cor if I picked it up from him. I mean, you're not uh, wrong. Americans are weird. <laughs> Take that, America. <laughs> MCK says, don't worry, Mike, you're our favorite clown aside from Zavi, Mirage, and Fairy Floss. And as soon as he says, Zavi is uh, the most, is the most very favorite of the favorites, though, of course. <laughs> it took me a second to read that. I thought I was having a stroke. And Bimbo said, you're so real, Snoozy. <laughs> Snowfox says, Mike will always be our favorite lord, though. No one can take that title away from him. Egg lord. Egg. Egg. <laughs> Verity says, if Snoozy and I actually make a black currant ranking, my friends would look in the fridge, ask why I have so many soft drinks when I only drink water, and I would have to explain, so there's a moth. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna want to sit down for this one. <laughs> Excuse me. Slowly dying. So he says, I'll be doing my own wacky thing where I microwave each and every black currant drink and do a separate rating on how microwavable they are. Oh my god! Um? Snoozy! Verity sits down and grabs a book of Garthalore and is like, so Aspen! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. 
MCK says, just show an image of said moth. I'm sure they'll understand Verity. True. Oh my god, Susie says, I need to rate my hot blackcurrant squash. <laughs> what kind of sodas and or energy drinks would you associate with any of the Star Palace characters? I don't really associate any particular sodas with them. Uh, you know, just flavors. So, like, Zavi obviously is lavender and lavender shortbread cookies. So, like, lavender vanilla. Uh, fairy floss, uh... I always, I always say sugar and pennies, but, like, if we're talking about an actual flavor, it would be cotton candy. Uh, and then Mirage is, like, berries, like, deep berries. Uh, I do actually associate Mirage with wine, oddly enough. Like, Merlot wine or, like, Merlot-scented things, uh, which is usually, like, sweeter than the actual wine tastes. Uh, so, like, if you ever get, like, a chapstick that's Merlot-scented, there, there's actually a very specific company that makes like a body lotion stick and it's exactly that scent but i can't i don't remember what the company is called admittedly oh wait maybe i do hold on hold on hold on is it Ooh, i did remember okay hold on hold on hold on let me see if i can Did find you? it okay uh Darn, they don't have the, they have the soap, but they do not have the other thing for some reason. Hold on. I'm looking. I'm sorry. I can't see chat. Give me a second. I'm looking. How oh, dare you ignore them? Uh, they have pucker bombs. Oh, it's... You shall not ignore ah. chat. Ah. Why did it go back? What the fuck? Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, uh the, the, what's it? It's. Not the odor sticks. Uh, it's your soaps, wine soaps, mini bars. Skin sticks, solid lotion. That's it. Okay, so now I just need to find blue citrus is good. Blue Hawaiian was one of my favorites, actually. Oh, wait, is it Cabernet? Was it Cabernet instead of Merlot? I thought they had a Merlot one, too. Hold on, hold on. I'm, keep, I'm looking. I'm still looking. Oh, they have a tobacco and vanilla. Okay. Ooh, vanilla honeycomb. Sunny. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it looks like they either... Oh, I forgot. They have a sangria uh, lip balm. A what? Sangria. Oh, okay. What? I thought you I thought you mispronounced sandia as in watermelon. It's no. I was gonna be like, no. what? No, <laughs> sangria, like the drink. Who fucking know what that is, bro? Uh, you don't know what's... <laughs> Okay. Ooh, they have a peach one too. And peaches and cream. Okay. Peaches I'm still I'm still looking. I'm still looking. I don't know if they have it or not. Okay, they do not. Okay, so it must actually be Cabernet, not Merlot, but I still I still kind of associate them with Merlot. So, uh here here is the link, my friends. Uh for anyone I don't I don't know if they go outside of America or not, but but that that scent right there is the scent that I associate with uh Mirage. I'm gonna have to order some of the shit. <laughs> Verity says halfway through the explanation, my friend goes, Is this the same universe with that cat thing you won't shut up about? And I ignore the question and carry on with historic black current tree bands in America. <laughs> yes. Bitmo says, I wonder what penny flavored would even taste like. Uh, it's a copper taste. Yeah, I, I don't know how to describe it. It ta it literally tastes shiny. Uh, but uh, I, I, it tastes shiny. I used to suck on pennies when I was a kid, okay? I know I'm fucking weird. It, it tastes shiny. Like, it tasted good when, the, when they're clean. When they're clean. You don't want to stick any old, like, nasty, gunky looking pennies in your mouth. But when they were, like, brand new and shiny and pretty, they tasted shiny. No, it doesn't taste rusted, Madman. It, it it tastes shiny. It tastes it tastes coppery. It tastes good. Are you laughing at me? No. <laughs> Stop it. It, it tastes shiny. <laughs> it tastes shiny. <laughs> what? It tastes 
he's shiny. Mike, don't you judge me. Mike says, ew. I don't do it anymore. I did it as a kid. You're too shiny. Uh, it's too shiny, guys. You don't get it. What is shiny taste? It tastes like shiny. I don't know. Mike says, no, ew, no, ew, no, ew. I don't do shiny. it anymore. I promise. I only did it as a you're kid. Sure, oh, God. What did Mike pretty, just say? pretty passionate Hold about on. pennies. Hold on. Mike sent a thing. You should listen to it, too. Oh, God. I'm a pitiful clown. What did Mike do? <laughs> I wear the rainbow wig and the honky <laughs> shoes of life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Beck says, I understand you, Callan. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God. Sudi says, I'm sorry, but the way G Knight says, it tastes shiny. I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> shiny tastes like, well, I don't know how to describe it, okay? It just tastes shiny. <laughs> <laughs> Verity <tastes shiny. laughs> says it tastes shiny is giving the same energy as frazzy on detergent powder. It tasted clean. <laughs> we have the, we, we have the yin and yang. It tastes shiny and it tastes clean. Snow Fox says so. Cal, what's your favorite flavor? Is shiny. Um, what do you mean <laughs> shiny? shiny? <laughs> Snoozy says that the voice that White keeps doing mildly reminds them of King Candy. Yeah, it's very true. It is. <coughs> oh my god. Shiny. Yeah, you want to talk about those hips? Huh? Yeah. Well, it's it's fair. You uh -huh. have to give her hips. Why you why you why you why you why you why you looking? No. Uh -huh. I'm following the character of the side. <laughs> why you why you why you looking at me like that for? Yeah, huh? Yeah. What? Uh huh. Verity said these streams I, always I'm manage to make me feel like I have a normal child. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Lucky. sorry that I was a weird little penny sucker as a child. I don't know what to tell you. It tastes shiny. It tastes shiny. Any order. Yeah. Susie says, "Why don't we talk about Zavi? Why don't you, uh, you tell us, tell us about about Zavi? Let's go. Come on. What, what you thinking? What you feeling?" MCK says, "That waist um, is snatched." Yeah. It's funny. I think you've actually been progressively, slowly making her waist more snatched. No. No. <laughs> No, I'm following the character <laughs> of the side. <coughs> no, Verity! Verity what says, now? weird little penny sucker is definitely getting clipped. I don't know if you have any other pics yet, <laughs> but that's the new Chupacabra right there. That's the new Chupacabra. <laughs> I don't, I'm leaving it up to you, Verity. You picked some pretty, pretty good fucking shit to clip. <laughs> Susie, Susie says, "What am I feeling, whore?" Just kidding, 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 kidding. Whoa. You were not kidding. But <laughs> the case has finished the sentence, Snoozy. <laughs> Susie caught in four K. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, it's been so chaotic. I forgot I was going to open the floor today if anybody has any writing questions, because I figured it would be kind of fun to answer anybody's, uh, anybody's questions. 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 Question. Question. And I had a question. Excuse me, mister. Are you going to finish your question? Eh, knock, knock yourself, yourself out, out, kid. kid. <laughs> <laughs> the way he freaking eats it. The way he fucking tosses it like a dog. <laughs> like he's feeding a dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Knock yourself out, kid. Um, um, um.
<laughs> Fucking can't. Oh my god, Verity says now I've got a good clipping system. I've been going to old uh going to old streams to get older uh bleh, can't read older moments that live rent free in my head too. Good. <laughs> yeah, post them. Bring back the memories. Yeah. You could always send them to me and I could I could make a, a clipping compilation where it's just all of them Best together. Moment. Yeah. I have a question. How did you plan the overall story of Star Palace and Gartha? Um, so they've both been planned very differently. <coughs> um, it just happened. So, so with Gartha, I've actually had Gartha as a concept since 2020. Uh, literally, you know, since since COVID, COVID. Uh, and mm -hmm. um, so I've been thinking about that one a lot over the past. Like, oh god, it's been four years. Uh, a lot over the past four years, and it has shifted and changed. And there's certain things I've written down. There's a, it's it's actually changed a lot since the original version of it. Uh, but I think all these changes have been for the better. Um, so that one is more like I've had a couple drafts of it in my head. Uh, whereas with Star Palace, I'm doing something called pantsing, which is literally flying by the seat of your pants and just kind of writing what you feel. And Star Palace has been getting published in real time. So when I finish a chapter, it immediately gets edited uh, to the best of my abilities and then it immediately moves on through production and Reed narrates it and I send out the lines for the voice actors and stuff like that so this one's been interesting because it's it's kind of a little bit more like writing a tv series actually where like you do have a general idea but you're also just kind of going and things can also change in production um so what I've basically been in, been doing with Star Palace is uh I'm trapping myself into whatever I've written in the beginning. So like I can't write out a whole draft and then, you know, look through it and change things. Like what's published is published and I'm rolling with it. Um, so it's it's kind of an experiment. Like I've mentioned that before. It's a, it's an experiment in writing. It's a challenge. Um, whereas with Gartha, I, like I said, I've gotten lots of different versions of it that I've gone through in my head. And then I've written what you could technically count as like a draft one, which is, uh, it, it's more of like an overview, but honestly, when you, when you write it all out, even the outline can be considered your first draft. So I do have the first draft of it written out. Um, Mike got that in, in an eight page essay, <laughs> but, uh, a very small one. Yeah. So small. Uh, yeah, MCK says, yeah, I love seeing the old Gartha videos and details about the characters that have changed over time. Yeah, they've all changed a lot. Um, except for Nimble. I honestly think he's changed the least. Uh, <laughs> Charade hasn't changed a, a lot, a lot, but he's still changed more than Nimble. Um, and then, like, Merryweather got cut entirely. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> yeah, bye. Sorry, girl. Can't find a use for you in the plot. Just, just, goodbye. Uh, useless. Mm-hmm. I would like to completely redesign her and make her a, com a completely different character, uh, but uh, at the same time, I don't really care, so <laughs> I could just make a new one overall. Uh, but uh, yeah, so it's they're, they're two very different processes, because I honestly think that it's a really good idea when you're a writer to experiment with these different processes, because then you can find what works for you the best. Because, you know, what works for one person isn't necessarily going to work for another. So, like, uh, God, I forgot who it was. There was, there was an author who was talking to uh, Stephen King. Uh, they're both big authors. And this guy was just like, Stephen, how do you pump out so many books? And it's because Stephen can literally sit there and write two pages a day every single day. And the other guy was like, how do you do that? I can't do that. And Steven's just like, I don't know. I just do it. So that, that just goes <laughs> to show you. Yeah, those are those are two completely different authors who have very different... Uh, oh, hey, KH is here. They have very different um, <coughs> systems. Uh, and so, you know, play with it. See, see what you got. Uh, and see what works better for you. Yeah. Yeah. Verity likes going to old Gartha. Uh, sorry, Verity says not likes going. <laughs> old Gartha. To, yeah, Verity says going to old Gartha videos to find old slank art because normal. Yeah. Why, why are you looking at the old shit though? It's old. 
Bimbo says, Nimble is just a silly little guy. He's a silly little bar skank, more like it. Oh! Oh! Chide, uh, Chide, I have a thing to uh, show you. I have a thing to show you. Uh, I can't show it in stream, why? but I'm gonna show you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is it? Ah! What did you do? I didn't do it. Look. Where? I where? What am I looking at? Look in in oh. VC chat. Oh, oh, okay. The, the... Yeah. Yeah. He's real. Oh my god. So you guys can't see what we're looking at, but uh, the person who's making the sunny doll. Oh no. There's only one problem. His thighs are painted a little weird. Mm, yeah, hopefully it's just the, like, how they're rotated, because they're not fully in yet. Oh, no, he's fully put together, but what it could oh. be is... It's just the joint. Yeah, that, that, could, that could be fixed by positioning him. Yeah. It's fine, I'm going to roll with it, because otherwise she's going to have to do a lot of repainting. Uh, But yeah. If, not, if, if, if it's a little fucky, it's fine, the clothes will cover it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I also don't think she painted his arms. Would be the angle. Let's hope. No, because one of them is from one side and the other's from the other side. Crying. The uh, clothes will cover it. <laughs> we'll deal with it later. Yeah, it's fine. Still excited. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mike says you said earlier that you had some edits to make in the story outline that you sent me for Gartha. Yeah, a few. It's it's uh. Again, I've I've been doing lots of really good changes. Uh, I've been putting a lot of extra lore in there, so you know. Uh, Verity says. <laughs> Verity says, any advice on writing like kids and young people? Protagonist of the main project I'm working on is a teen girl, and some people can be uncharitable about young characters, no matter how you write them. Um, I've written a couple of young characters, so uh, actually, in some of the the role plays of Chinite, I was um, doing Charade and Nimble, but like as children. Um, and Tilly is actually 16, so I do, uh, any, anything involving her is usually, like, a level teenager writing. Um, it kind of, it always depends on the kid themselves. If you're talking about, like, young characters, I would actually recommend, uh, watching some younger kids shows, like, uh... Honestly, Bluey is the perfect example. Like, if you want to write, like, really young kids, Bluey is a good thing to watch as an example, so that way you're not, like, I don't know, out at a park watching people's kids, which could be considered creepy. <laughs> but, like, you know... I'm studying. Uh, Bluey is a lot of really good examples of different kinds of kids, because um, there there is a child in Bluey who has autism, so you could look at, you know, one of the ways that you could write... Uh, an autistic child because you know there's many different ways you could write an autistic person um and i believe muffin has like severe adhd or something she goes nuts um and then you know you've got bluey and bingo themselves uh and uh like bingo goes nonverbal sometimes uh or like partially nonverbal so I'd say watch a lot of things involving child characters because then you get a lot of really good examples of what to do with that. Um, I have a lot of experience with kids because I've worked at theme parks for years, so that one's not as hard for me. Um, and then when it comes to teenage stuff, try to think back to when you were a teenager um, and kind of just remember what everybody around you used to be doing. Um, when I was a teenager... Uh, and especially when Corv was a teenager, holy shit, he's, he has shown me, so, or told me some stuff, uh, of what he used to do. And a lot of teenagers like to run around and get in trouble on purpose, um, so kind of give them a little bit of chaotic energy if you're writing a teenager. Uh, okay, we're bowling. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, uh so, <laughs> oh god, this just reminds me of, like, a story of, um, when, when I used to go to, uh, the, the little anime club that I used to go to in Vegas of, uh, sorry, my brain's blanking out for a second here. Uh, we, we were watching a show called Black Cat and there was just this theme that would pop up every time an action sequence would happen. Uh, and we used to have to 
go get food across the street and it was like a six lane street so it was like three lanes going one way three lanes going the other way and you could walk to the crosswalk but we would always play frogger um <laughs> so uh we would run across the street and we would just start screaming out the black cat theme as we were going across the street because we were stupid teenagers so <laughs> Uh, do, do stupid shit with your teenagers. Don't be afraid to do stupid shit with your teenagers. Um, and also, this is, this is gonna sound like, oh my god, Verity says, honestly, if, uh, if I did have to study kids, I'd be fine. I have 18 nieces and nephews. Holy fucking shit. Oh my lord. That is so many, so many kids. Um, but, uh. Also, what I was going to say is don't be afraid to write younger characters. Unfortunately, there's like a whole thing going on right now where like people are doing the whole thing of, oh, you're too old to be writing that. Like, don't don't write for those characters. And it's just like, who the fuck do you think is writing these stories you like? Who do you think is writing Bluey? Yeah. Well, like, you know, when, when people talk about like anime or any of those like teenage like rom-coms or anything like that or even anything like Owl House and stuff like that. It's just like... You know, oh, you're not allowed to like these characters because you're 30. And it's like, okay, well, shut the fuck up. All the people who are writing this are in their 30s and 40s. So go fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, write what you want to write. Write for you as long as it's nothing, like, weird. <laughs> yeah. Because and... also, like, the mo unfortunately, the moment someone that is an adult uh, likes a character in a show or a series that it, it's a minor, they immediately assume that it's the weird shit. It's like, bro, you're al you're allowed to like any character, you know? Uh-huh. <laughs> Obviously, when it, when it comes to minor characters, as long as you're not, you know, weird about it, yeah. you, you're fine. Yeah, like, like why, why are we judging people at first sight? <laughs> yeah, well, like, okay, so as an example, when Korva and I went to J uh, Japan last time, don't worry, I saw, I saw uh, there's a question up here that Snow Fox has asked. I haven't forgotten, don't worry. Uh... When we went, there was a collaboration going on with an anime called Ensemble Stars. And I zoned in on, like, three different characters. And one of the characters that I really liked, uh, his name is Hajime. And he's an anxious little ball of, uh, like, nervousness. And he's in the group Rabbits. So, obviously, Rabbits, I'm going to be interested I love this character. I made a little Ita bag of him. Does that mean that I'm simping over him and getting weird over this, like, 15-year-old boy? No, I'm allowed to like this character. I'm not thinking weird thoughts about him. I just think he's cute, and I want to put a blanket around him and protect him from the world because he's an anxious little bean. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with you liking characters that are younger than you as long as you're not getting fucking weird about it. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I, I especially, going back to the whole thing of writing younger characters, I, I especially do that with Tilly, because Tilly has uh, a condition called Herba Weich, which uh, literally is a thing where, like, the part of your brain that makes you feel fear does not develop properly, so she she does not react to things the way that she probably should. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, her getting into some weird-ass situations because she's just, she's literally not thinking about it. She's just like, this looks fun! Uh, and, and there she go, being a, a weird-ass little 16-year-old. Okay, Snow Fox says, do you ever hit a wall when you try to progress a story? Like, you know something has to happen, but haven't figured out how it will happen in a way that makes sense and feels satisfying. Oh yeah, all the time. You're not a writer if it doesn't happen to you. <laughs> well, okay, I shouldn't say that, but I mean, like, it's it's very normal for that to very consistently it's happen. It's, yeah. like, it's, like, it's like when artists deal with art block, or when you, when you, you want to draw a piece that with, with a pose that is just far beyond your skill level at the moment. Uh -huh. That happens to me all the time. I picture this really cool-ass pose that I want to do, and then I try to draw it, and I can't. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, it's... Uh... I think someone actually asked me that on, on Tumblr, and I never got the chance to uh, answer it on Tumblr. Let me go look at it. It was it was Camtoons. I do remember that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I wondered, considering you've managed to go into producing your own creative projects, did you ever struggle to keep your motivation on a single project? If so, how do you get around that? I mean, I am admittedly dealing with that right now with Star Palace. Uh, it's hard to keep motivation when you're kind of, like, afraid of 
expectations and like making sure that it's good enough, especially because of the fact that, you know, this is being produced for an audience now. But literally the the only thing that you can do is to keep moving forward, even if it's just a little bit, even if it's just, you know, you're laying in bed thinking about it because you don't have the energy to write in that moment. As long as you're still doing something, progress is progress. Uh, Absolutely. How do you spell that Tilly no fear brain thing? Hold on, let me get it. I always have to Google it because I always forget. Uh, do, do, do. Here we go. I'm going to pop it into the chat for you, Verity. Uh, I believe it's German. Susie says, I love it when Khaled explains things. Yay. <laughs> Susie says, I expect Zavi to remain kissable. That is my only standard and it is mandatory. <laughs> oh, I missed somebody talking about young character stuff. Uh, I missed two of them, actually. So KH said, I feel young characters are more interesting if their lack of knowledge comes from misunderstanding rather than complete ignorance but that's probably a personal preference thing i mean it also depends on the character uh every character is different so it's very important to treat every character basically like a person like like how every every person is different uh and and then mck responded with kh i get that it adds more complexity to teenage characters rather than having them be complete pricks for no reason other than the plot not knowing how to correctly portray them yeah that's very true MCK says, Snoozy has very distinguished taste and high standards for media. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you, Snoozy. Snoozy says, jokes aside, we all adore your writing and we will happily hoover up any content you give us. We love you, Cal. Never fear. Thank you. I always fear. That's that's Eat my that's my secret cap. I'm always afraid. <laughs> I can't help it. Where are you, Brit? Huh? Where are you, Brit? Oh. I thought you said, why are you bred for a minute? Huh? I don't know. I think the bread bridge got me. The bread bridge. The bread, the bread bridge. The bread bridge. The bread bridge. Not the bad boys. No, not the bad boys. Oh, God. <laughs> no. Screaming. Bad boy bread bridge. No, bad boy bread bridge. You <laughs> bad boy bread crap. bridge. No. <laughs> God, G Knight's been showing me different Minecraft YouTubers, and uh, the they they get caught in uh in verbal ticks. And then they get stuck in the bit. <laughs> yep. It's good to find a min some Minecraft YouTubers that are not. You know. Um, yeah. Yeah. I need to look at a thing real quick because it's going to bother me on the doll if I don't uh, mention it. Uh, where is the thing you did of Naked where Sunny? Is there it is. Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. His arms are not. Okay. Okay. We only can his see... shoulders. Yeah, only his shoulders. So let me double check. Okay, this is fine then. I'm not even going to question it. Okay, we Gucci, we Gucci. It's fine. <laughs> Snoozy says the snoozification continues. British accent has manifested. <laughs> You'll never take me alive. <laughs> Bimbo says, I completely agree with Snoozy here. Your writing characters and world building is absolutely lovely, Kellen. Thank you. 
Verity says you've been Britting a lot this stream, Callan. Have you been connected to the Brit telepathy now? I don't know. I just Stop I it. just do funny accents sometimes. I don't I don't really I, 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 uh, uh, No more British for you. Did no more British for me. No more British. No more British. No. <laughs> only, only, only English and Spanish. <laughs> yeah? Full stream in Spanish. No, I can't. I don't know yeah. how. Snowfox says, Agreed, Snoozy and Bimbo, your writing is very wonderful, and I'm always excited when another chapter of Star Palace drops, and I'll still be excited for Gartha. Thank you. Yeah. Crystal says, The audiobook is like making animations by itself with just animation, uh, in, uh, imagination, I can read, and words. That's the power you have, Kellen. I try. I do, I try. No, Verity says, oh god, Gina, how dare you remind me of the bad boy's bread bridge. <laughs> the bad boy's bread bridge. No. British streams where everyone talks in British accents. What you think, Unite? You want to go back to being a little Brit boy? No. No. <laughs> no. Like I'm when not you going were young. That face. No. <laughs> and I, so guys, for anyone that hasn't heard the story, I used to have a, a teacher in middle school that, that had a British accent, and when I and because of that, when I came over to the United States, I barely knew any English. So the fact that one of my teachers had this fancy ass accent, just kind of, I just kind of was like, "Ooh, that's nice. I'm gonna copy you." <laughs> <laughs> and for for a hot minute there in middle school, I had like the most scuffed British accent while I was learning <laughs> English, and then it just, and then it disappeared with my fucking thicker Mexican dominant accent. <laughs> oh God, that actually kind of reminds me. Um, so I was talking to uh, Corv the other day about going to Japan. And I, I called him my emotional support goth. And then I also, because because you're always there for me when shit goes down, I called you my emotional support Mexican. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm the Mexican friend that, that just goes, to, goes into, uh, into your house and tells you, Ponte las pilas. <laughs> <laughs> Ponte las pilas. <laughs> 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 Póngase las pilas, ándele. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Bimbo says, we're all British now. No. You can't take me. <laughs> Snoozy says, I don't exactly slip into different accents, but on occasion I will randomly become exaggeratingly British. And I... Have the most indistinguishable, uh, indistinguishably heavy Brit voice. Oh, good. Bring it. Bring it. All right. Uh, show it to us or you're lying. Yep. Send us evidence right now. Verity says, British stream where everyone talks in British accents, but Snoozy and I are oh, also God. speaking in awful Yank accents. Oh, God. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like if we had a, the whole group, Doof would be the only one that could survive that stream. <laughs> yeah, no, Doof does a really good British accent. Also, Doof does a really good Australian accent. True. Also, I had to look it up because... Uh, I, I legitimately wasn't sure. I know that Verity's doing it in a playful way, but technically, uh, other countries calling Americans a yank is a slur. <laughs> <laughs> Verity's been calling us slurs this whole time. Well, calling you, I'm Mexican. It doesn't affect me. True. <laughs> Point and laugh. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Verity, you've been calling me slur. <laughs> <laughs> Verity says one hour, twelve minutes, writing it down. Emotional support, Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Also, as soon as he said a stream where everyone does a British accent the whole time, gee willikers, that'd be a challenge for me. <laughs> but already said, excuse me, what? Yeah, no, here's the thing. Sometimes it can be used playful, but technically Yank and Yankee is a slur. <laughs> huh. Like, if you're looking at it from an Australian point of view, like, it doesn't really matter. Like, Australians use the word cunt, like, just as the, like, they'll call their friends that. It doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> so, like, if an Australian's calling you anything, it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> if, if the, if, if, it's like, we, it's like with Mexicans. If they call you fucking slur, they're your best homies. <laughs> mm-hmm. How dare you, Verity, no sleep for you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's usually a derogatory term. Uh, apparently, you can use it playfully, too, but it's usually considered an insult. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's fine. I don't actually care. I, I was just like, every time I heard it, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's a slur. And so I went to look it up because I wasn't sure, and I was right. <laughs> <laughs> that's a no-no. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, Verity. You're good. You're not in trouble. I promise. <laughs> Susie just said hung, drawn, and quartered. Mila says not the baseball Yankees. No, uh, so Mila, other countries uh, usually like. Oh god, I, I forgot. It's it's definitely like a lot of the UK. Where is it? Uh, it's a term for Americans in Britain, Australia, Canada. Apparently, does it South Africa, Ireland, and New Zealand. Uh, the full Yankee may be considered mildly derogatory depending on the country. Uh, but yank is a derogatory slur used by the British against the English. See, I don't consider it as a slur <laughs> because the only, the only, the only thing I've heard of that word is in the fucking meme. Yankee with no brim. What the fuck is that? <laughs> it was a fucking stupid thing back in like 20, 20, 21. <laughs> it was just Yankee with no brim. Oh my god. Parody says, I'm going, back to, I'm going back to calling you septics. Reverse, reverse, mission failed. Yeah, you actually only started doing it pretty recently. So I was like, where did this come from? <laughs> New season racist, all right. You mean Verity? Not Snoozy. Oh, I didn't know whose, whose message you were reading. <laughs> oh, no. I just assumed. It's okay. <laughs> I just assumed it was Snoozy for some reason. <laughs> 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 oh, Verity. Uh, so apparently septic is worse. Oh. Well, because if you're... Uh, so I, I looked that up too because I was curious. So uh, most Americans probably wouldn't even understand it. Pretty sure this is from uh, Australia originally. It's a nickname for Americans. It's short for septic tank because you're calling them full of shit. So it's also actually uh. really derogatory. <laughs> Man, Verity uh -oh. likes the slurs. <laughs> Verity, what the fuck? <laughs> what, did, what did Americans do to you? Yeah, no, calling someone septic is like calling them a, a toxic piece of shit. Verity says, are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I'm not <laughs> kidding you. I googled it. I was just say it sounded like something you say for the funny. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so, I need to piss now. Right <laughs> go piss, go piss. Yeah, it was used in the movie Chicken Run. I do remember that. That was also Hickory. Oh my god, I haven't seen you in forever. Hi, Hickory. I missed you. Yeah. So Verity, uh, the septic tank is uh, is a, is rhyming slang for yank. <laughs> At the very least, the Australian version is. <laughs> Verity, you're looking at a life sentence of no sleep. No, it's okay. <laughs> Verity legitimately didn't know, judging by their reactions. It's fine. Susie says, you think I'd call you a slur for the funny? No, you wouldn't. I know you wouldn't. He's He's gone to piss, but it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, Mila, Australians use the C word as, a, as like a pal call, which is why Memon uses it. Yeah, it's it's just a thing they say. Again, in Australia, if they're calling you a slur, they like you. It's fine. It's just it's just like, hey, buddy, how you doing? 
Christmas. He's just crying my eyes out right now. Hi, Hickory. How you doing? Uh, so, so just so you know, Star Palace is getting drawn and apparently we're getting educated on British slurs. <laughs> Bees. 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 You made Snoozy cry. No, it's Snoozy. Because <laughs> uh. you thought that she'd call you a slur for the funnies. <laughs> exactly. Bimbo says slur is like a love language to them. Speaking about Australians, that's very true. Yeah. <laughs> so Foxy, yeah, Australians usually have no filter. <laughs> exactly. Fair enough. Yep. Why the fuck are you doing that, bro? Oh, that's weird. What the fuck's wrong with my pen? I don't know. Susie says, man, I barely even swear, and Jean, I assumed I was the one saying the slur. What the freak, Jean? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Verity, where'd you go? Are you okay? <laughs> Verity says, British Google is a slur apologist. Yeah, your Google looks up different things than mine does, apparently. I can, if you really want me to, I can go take screenshots for you. <laughs> Verity has been hauled off to prison, I'm convinced. Verity, it's okay. Again, no, nobody's mad at you. I, I know that you legitimately didn't know. <laughs> Never mind, she's on the run. <laughs> A mirage is so short now. It's for the moment. <laughs> Trust the process, bro. Quit I'm, judging. I'm not judging. I was being silly. <laughs> Suzy says, I'm mad. Apologize right now. <laughs> mm, no. You don't want to apologize to Suzy? I'm sorry, Suzy. <laughs> I'm sorry for assuming you called everyone a slur. <laughs> yeah. Hickory says doing okay, working mostly. I hope you guys have been doing okay too. Uh, we've we've both been suffering some from some severe health problems, which we talked about at the beginning of the stream. But like we're otherwise, yeah, we're we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> Verity says you can call me Limey if you want as atonement. Nah, it's okay. We're good. <laughs> we don't have to call you that. <laughs> the only uh the only time I think that word is funny is specifically in um the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged series. <laughs> because uh, everybody was calling Bakura that because Bakura's British. Susie says, you should be sorry for naturally assuming I was being racist. I'll never recover from this. <laughs> Mirage. Everybody's excited about Mirage. <laughs> Verity says, I've been suffering from being British. Yeah, it's fine. You may be a supervillain, but you're a wholesome supervillain. <laughs> Hickory says, oh no, I shit. I hope you guys get well, guys. Yeah, we, we're trying. We're trying. We'll get there eventually. We're doing our best. Yeah. I missed you, Hickory. I haven't seen you in so long. Hickory's here. Yeah, Hickory's here. Oh my god. MC Case is Snoozy. Remember, Gina is the one who draws the Zavi art, and Snoozy just went utterly sobbing. <laughs> Verity says, Why did nobody tell me until now? I, honestly, I'm so sorry. Like, I probably should have not done it in a stream. I feel so guilty now. I don't know. I've, I've been seeing it, and like, at first I was just like, Huh. And then you kept doing it, and I was like, Huh. <laughs> 
a funny <laughs> I word. I didn't think about it until now. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. If anything, um, this is a really good example of how people should react to stuff like that, where it's just like, hey, did you know this means that? And people go, no. And you go, well, it does. Okay, cool. And then we move on. Um, yeah. and I don't think it's right for people to, like, scream at each other over shit like that. <laughs> MC Case's plot twist variety where all Google bots is we're trying to get you arrested for hate speech. <laughs> oh, Hickory says been dead for a while. Yeah, you've been at Ooh. college, right? It's been sucking your soul out of your body. I mean, what? College has been sucking soul their soul out of their body. Huh? What? That's what college does. It drains you of your life force. That's one way to say it. What? Nothing. What are you thinking about? Nothing. Oh, excuse me? What? Sure. Huh? Huh? Oh, you- Oh, Hickory dropped out. It's okay, I don't blame you. Our Ooh. school's fucking hard. Don't blame you at all. Fuck college. <laughs> Fuck them, all of them, not literally. <laughs> Snow Fox says, if we're ever screaming at each other, it's uh, us all screaming about how much we love a character. Very true. <laughs> oh, you're okay, Hickory. It totally happens. No one's judging you for it. No need to be ashamed. You're not alone. College isn't for everyone, and I'm not saying that in the weird, like, passive-aggressive, like way that a lot of people say it where they're like well it's not for everyone if you can't make no fuck that it's it's literally like for some people it works really well and they learn very well in college but everybody has different styles of learning and so some people learn better doing things like at home like through fucking youtube and With shit the like internet. that yeah exactly there's lots of people who are self-taught who learn more on their own than they do in a class especially if you're in a class full of other people who don't give a shit. So, yep. you're good. Oh, cool. Hickory says, working at a small local studio now, though. And they also mentioned uh, it wasn't even a good school. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> Snow Fox says, Mirage is like, can I leave and go introvert now? Yeah, very true. <laughs> very true. Yeah, Bimbo says, exactly, Kellen. Yeah. It's different for everybody. And that's okay. Snoozy says me sobbing in college. <laughs> Verity says g -Night, sucking the soul out is a very common phrase. You just have a very dirty mind. <laughs> no, I don't, bro. Why are you, why, why, why are you assuming that? He... <laughs> Rainier says, as someone who experiences college, I wholeheartedly agree with the G-Knight statement. Yeah. <laughs> and Snoozy says, yeah, get yourself in a better environment, Hickory. You deserve it. You do. Yeah. You do. MCK <laughs> just went eerie. <laughs> yes. Little eerie. Oh, cool. Hickory says, switching to freelancing now, trying to uh, self-learning like I've always done, considering online courses instead. That's a good idea. Um, I, I haven't tried Definitely. it yet. I signed up for it because I want to try to learn to draw a little bit better. But there's this thing called 21 Draws, and they have a whole bunch of classes. I think I, think I signed up. It was like $60 for the entire year, and you have access to all the classes. So that might be a good thing to peek into if you want to. Also, you're looking for the free stuff. Uh, forget their name for uh, Winged Canvas. Ah. That's a good YouTube channel. Uh, they have a lot of helpful stuff, uh, art related. Ah, oh, Hickory asked you something in Spanish. In Spanish. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Eerie the puppet mama. Yep. Live, laugh, love, Eerie.
Yeah, I know a while back Hickory actually was interested in working with the Star Palace team, but unfortunately we didn't really have, like, the budget for it because, yeah, stuff happening and, you know, having to hire some people. But uh, I think it'd be cool to include Hickory on the team in the future if you're still Absolutely. up for that. We'll have to work some stuff out. <laughs> Snoozy says, just the abrupt, don't worry about it, Gina, you're so iconic. <laughs> <laughs> what did it mean? That's me. It's what did it nothing. mean? Don't worry about it. Translate it for me. Come on. Come on. There's no need for that. Come on. There's no need for Type that. Type it to me if you don't want to say it. No, there's no need for that. No. Tell it's me. Important. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they already just sent me a, a picture that like Frazzy drew a long time ago of Zavi just like looking zooted out of his mind and just thinking slurs. <laughs> Slurs. Slurs. Oh, then I can get it. Oh, you can see it too. I know which one you're talking about. I'm sending it anyway because I already had it. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh, Snow Fox says here's some good YouTube channels for art. Winged Canvas, like you said. Proco. Yeah. Uh, Mark Brunette. Draw Like a Sir. And Jazza, older tutorials, but still good. I've been studying with Wing Canvas for background shit. Yeah, you've been doing really good with your backgrounds. I know you don't like them, but you're doing really good. It's easier uh, to just watch something and be like, yeah, I can do that than actually do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay, thanks. You gave me the info. Now I need to actually find a way to implement it in my style. Yeah, that makes sense. God, it's going to be interesting trying to find somebody because I'm not going to ask you to do the Gartha backgrounds because that's going to be more I extensive than what you're currently doing for Star Palace. And I want you to be able to focus just on like character work for, for Gartha. But uh, we're going to have to find somebody who can do fantasy backgrounds because that's going to be really important for Gartha. So like also just so everybody in the chat knows what we're going to be doing is I'm not going to be raising the money for art for Gartha right away because obviously G-Knight's still working on Star Palace. So we're just going to focus on publishing the audiobook portion first, kind of like we're doing with Star Palace. Uh, and then we will go back and we will raise the funding for the art and get to that later. <coughs> Excuse me. So that way we can, you know, we can put uh, all of the effort of production into the audiobook portion. We're also looking for a new uh, person to do music. And maybe if we, we find somebody, we can also get the last couple chapters of Star Palace redone with music since they don't have it due to, you know, things that happen. Things and stuff. Mm-hmm. Snoozy says, I wish I could volunteer for that, but good God, I would absolutely slander those backgrounds, I swear. Also, Verity's back. Verity <laughs> says, I'm back. I've recovered. I've collected myself. It's time to burst out my ukulele. No, not the ukulele. Not the ukulele. <laughs> MCK says, yes, a heartfelt ukulele apology is the only way to answer for your crimes. Again, Verity, you're good. Nobody's angry at you. We love you. We understand. Snow Fox says, yeah, Winged Canvas is really good. They explain things in a way that makes sense. And there's several teachers, which means they all have different styles and methods. Yeah. MC Case is things. Things. Yeah. Hickory says, testing out some uh, Aaron Blaze courses right now, though. Guy always has his stuff on sale. Just wait for $100 courses to drop like a, uh, like a dollars for like, Sorry, I can't read. Uh, dropping down to like $1 to $10. Recommend him. Ooh, good to know. Here, I'm just going to screenshot these so that way if anybody ever asks again, I can be like, all of these things. Oh my god, no. Verity says, thing is, Cal, I do genuinely own a ukulele. Oh my god. Do a toxic gossip train cover for us, Verity? No! Oh god. Also, just so everybody knows, we have about a half hour left in the stream. Uh, we're definitely going to cut it at the two hour mark just because of the fact that uh, I have to go pick up a thing and G Knight was going to be running to the doctor after the stream. Yeah. Got to get my shit diagnosed finally, hopefully. 
Oh, you're okay, Hickory. Hickory says, my grammar, it hurts. It's all good. I also just can't read sometimes. So, which is bad, because I'm uh, I'm going to be the narrator for Gartha, so... Can't wait for all the bloopers. Uh, it's I don't I don't actually keep my bloopers. I immediately Lame. go back and edit them out. <laughs> Lame. I also I like to make less work for the editor because you know otherwise Reed is gonna get a thing of me messing up on the same line fucking like ten times. Or um, just um, download two different files. <laughs> no. One for bloopers, one for the actual thing. Come on. Uh, Hickory said, how's Bunny? You mean like me or or, or, or Chewy? The pet Bunny. We're both doing how's, okay. How's Bunoy? <laughs> how's Bunoy? Chewy's doing very well. He's Here's the thing. He, he actually likes, I want to say, living here more than he liked living at the old place. Because at the old place, he had, you know, he had a pretty good enclosure it wasn't it wasn't too small for him but also like you know it was just one area here he has a tiny enclosure but it's basically just his litter box and where his food is and like where he sleeps he gets full reign of the kitchen and the dining room area he gets to run around as much as he likes so he's he's pretty happy with that Snoozy, I completely misread what you said because my I only read like half of it at first. So Snoozy says, my proud accomplishment is that I will put out there while it's relevant is that I have learnt word for word the entirety of the Toxic Gossip Train lyrics. Why? <coughs> Why? Yeah, I misread that as Snoozy saying, my proud accomplishment is that I will put out. Oh. That's all I read at first. And I just thought, hee hee, Zabby. Huh. It's true though. Uh, Verity says the last two hours of my life have, for various reasons, a very, very different reasons, utterly obliterated my brain on a cellular level. Yeah. Susie says we love the silly, funny bloopers though. Callan. They're funny. Mila says, do you voice a character in the Gartha project? No, I'm the narrator. So, so here's the thing. So, uh, huh? Narrator. Yeah. So, uh, Reed is playing the main character and Sonny's voice is very close to Reed's normal voice. It's basically just Reed, but kind of permanently sounding sultry and sexy. Uh, and so (laughs) that's what Sonny sounds like. So, um, I figured it would be a little bit too weird, uh, and, and like hard to tell, uh, if he was both narrating and the character voice. So I'm narrating so that there's a better differentiation there. Yay, everyone's like, glad Bonoy is doing well. Glad Chewie is doing well. Yeah, Chewie is doing very well. Um, He did unfortunately get some fleas after we first moved in because the rats. Um... So, so basically, we moved in, and everything, everything was fucking going wrong. Uh, so, like, I fell out of the moving truck, and I had that giant bruise that G-Knight said looked like bacon on my thigh. I actually have a permanent bacon. indent on my thigh now from that bruise. Huh? Bacon. Bacon. Uh, so I fell out of the moving truck, so I am, I am not allowed to move anymore so if we if we move we actually are hiring movers because every time we move i get hurt and it's progressively getting worse um i'm trying uh so that happened and then we moved in the first night and uh giant black ants crawled into my bed and bit me um so i had to climb into somebody else's bed for the rest of the night and sleep there and um then we had to, you know, decontaminate, debugify my room. Uh, and then another mini hurricane hit. And we had two baby rats that got into the apartment that we had to take care of. Chewie actually bit one, apparently. Um, <laughs> well, it got into his enclosure and it started eating his food. And he said, nah, bitch, that's mine. And he bit it. And <laughs> <Fuck you. laughs> we found blood behind some boxes because of the rat. Um... And then, unfortunately, you know, we got rid of the rats, but they give Chewy fleas. So, uh, we had to get him some special medicine, and we had to brush all the flea dirt out of his fur and all that stuff. 
Uh, but he's he's better now. That was that was like when we first moved into this apartment right after we we lost our house. So then things kind of started to even out. Um, we're still keeping an eye on his fur because we are hearing things in the walls. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, our neighbors don't seem to be super clean because we have buggies and the buggies are obviously coming from the neighbors, uh, because I make sure that our kitchen is very clean. Like there's no dishes in the sink ever. Uh, it is, a, it's literally a rule of like, Hey, there are bugs, you know, everybody needs to put their shit in the dishwasher. Chewy confirmed murder. <laughs> Chewy just straight up said, no, chomp, Chewy, fuck you, my food. <laughs> yeah. Holy, oh, che <laughs> holy Chewy isn't messing around. No, he's not. Oh, my God. Snow Fox says, Callan really do be the main character of some sort of sitcom with all these shenanigans that keep happening. Yeah. Yeah, apparently. I don't, I don't know why. I can't catch a fucking break, man. Something just decided, fuck you in particular, that, <laughs> that couple of months. Main character energy, go. Oh, huh. Main character, what kind of fucking show? The show of life. Ugh. Dang, no wonder why Chewie's called Chewie, yeah. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. The bun behind the slaughter. <laughs> you been <laughs> yoy. But yeah, he's, uh, he's doing good. He's, he gets lots of good food. Uh, we bought him a bed that he refuses to lay on. Um, he gets he gets daily treats. Uh, we have to buy him new orchard loops, actually. We're out of those now, but he still gets carrots. I should just want to yell at your neighbors for being nasty and dumb. I, I, I've called the cops on them before. G-Knight's been there for it. It's the funniest shit. Yeah, they like to blast their fucking music so loud that my walls vibrate. And I'm just like, nope. <sighs> Parody says Faulty Towers by the sound of it, Cal. Oh, God, I remember Faulty Towers. Hold on, which one was that? Hold on. Faulty Towers with John Cleese. Is that the one that's like... No, the one I'm remembering is Are You Being Helped? I do remember Faulty Towers, though. Hold on, hold on. I need to, I need to look at it. Wasn't this like a bed and breakfast one? Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, the hotel one. Yeah, okay, I remember that one. Okay, okay. I had to look it up. Uh, again, uh, my mom was obsessed with BBC America when I was growing up, so I watched stuff like Faulty Towers and Are You Being Served and Last of the Summer Wine and all of that shit uh, and uh, coupling. So, yeah. Hey, Almighty Cosmos and Callan's author, can you please give the Moon Bunny a break for once? And no, I don't mean break Callan. I mean give them a break, please, and thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hickory says, the amount of beds I bought my rabbit, he refuses to use. Good sir. Yeah, no, so here's the thing. Uh, people get weirded out when they see Chewie's enclosure, because it is a cheap one from, like, a pet store, because, you know, we lost our house, and it was the fastest thing that we could get him. Um... And the bottom of it's made out of plastic, which we prefer. We actually don't like, uh, we don't want to get him a bunny cage that has, like, the grating on the bottom. Because that, that's hard on their little pawsies. Uh, and so his is a, a plastic bottom. And he does not let there be the the paper bedding, which because he's litter trained. So he will not lay on that. He actually shoves it all off to the side where he poops and pees. Uh, his, you know, his piss corner. Um... Because he equates that with, this is what I pee in, I'm not laying in it. So he lays on the plastic, and we got him a bed, and I tried to train him to lay in it by giving him treats while he was sitting on top of it. But now, he has just associated the bed with treats, so when he sees people, he starts dragging the bed over, because he's like, I want a treat. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he'll growl, start scooting backwards with it. Um, he outsmarted the system. He did, and so he won't lay on it. He'll lay on the floor next to it. He won't <laughs> lay on it. <laughs> Eepy time. <laughs> so he lays on the hardwood floor, and he lays on the plastic bottom, but he will not lay on the bed. Yeah, Hickory says grading is very bad for them. Yeah, yeah, no, it just, you know, 
it doesn't look comfortable. It's like, would you want to fucking stand on that? Like, no. So I'm not going to make my Benoit stand on that. But a lot of people think it's just normal. Um, Hickory gets it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Susie says, author, please stop giving Callan debuffs and trauma. She has enough. I have enough. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I have enough trauma to last a lifetime. I'm still trying to work it out, man. Verity says, I have the quote-unquote privilege of living next to a secondary school, so I get 16-year-olds blasting music from their Bluetooth speakers every morning. Oh, God. Yeah, no, I hate it. Oh, you're okay. Uh, oh, not me. Okay, never mind. I can't read. Uh... Parody says, due to very recent events, I am now remembering the Faulty Towers episode where the hotel owner gets in trouble for being rude to Americans. <laughs> <laughs> Hickory says, smart big brain. I'm sure that's about Chewy getting getting his treats. Bunny needs good stuff for the paw beans. Oh, so fun fact, uh, bunnies do not have paw beans. They do not have paw pads. Because, you know, they're used to being little diggers, so they're, the bottom of their feet is just covered in fur. That's a thing that a lot of people don't realize, especially when they draw, like, bunny furry characters. They always give them toe beans. They do not have toe beans. There we go, as as Hickory also is saying. Yep. They do not have toe beans. Not allowed. Yeah, well, that's a thing that, like, I, I jokingly uh, was, was taking into account when Nova was showing us his characters and he wanted us to rate them. I was literally taking points off of the bunny furries because they had toe beans. And I was like, <laughs> nope, they have toe beans. It's wrong. You're you're not a real furry. <laughs> You're not a real bunny. What are you? <coughs> Susie, I'm not gonna read that out loud. Um. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Snooze a lithus bub. <coughs> Snooze a feelus bub. I can't read. Oh, I just realized MCK was talking about uh, rabbit murderers. True. Rabbit murderer sounds familiar. He always comes back. You can't stop him. <laughs> Verity's coming for Snoozy's kneecaps, and Snoozy said, No, back off. Those are my knees, I say. Get him. <laughs> also we are at the 13 minute mark 13 minutes yeah it's gotten three characters done good shit So in our last couple of minutes, does anybody have any more writing questions? Anything they want to ask? You can ask about Star Palace or Gartha. Either way. <laughs> Snoozy says, first people are after my snoochie, now my knees. What do you freaks want next, Tom? Huh? My elbow? So here's the thing, Snoozy. The extra skin on your elbow. It's called your weenus. Oh, no. We're after your let's, weenus, let's all get, Snoozy. Let's all, let's all get the weenus. <laughs> weenus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Go on, Snoozy. Hand over the weenus. Yeah. Uh. Mila says, dang, Gina, you can get those characters done quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Verity says, Snoozy, if Zavi wanted your elbows, you'd offer them and you know it. Come on, Snoozy, give Zavi your weenus. Give him your weenus. <laughs> weenus <laughs> Snoozy says, <laughs> anguish screaming. Bimbo says, weenus I'm crying. <laughs> Dear Lord. 
if you have, how have you included fluff between shifts? Uh, there's lots of fluff. Um, that one's a little bit more, like, spoilery, unless you're asking how to do it in general. Uh, speaking of we no see any news on the Smasher Pass stream, uh, not yet. Uh, Hickory... We need more entries, come up, people. Yeah, we need more entries, guys. We're gonna run out thing. too quickly. I, 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 it'd be funnier... It'd be funny if I just put my own entries, but it, that's kind of cheating because it's like, come on. Okay, put your entries for me, and I'll put entries for you. Oh, Lord. We'll do that. But also, we, we need people to put in entries. Otherwise, we do not have enough. That stream's going to last like 20 fucking minutes the way that it is. Uh, but yeah, uh, Hickory, I'll answer that question privately. What was the question? Uh, I'm not going to read it out loud. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I'm going to find it. Hold on, I'll screenshot it for you. I see. Yeah. The lore. Says didn't know I put there like, four, like 4,892 billion suggestions. It's not enough. Look, for a Smasher Pass stream, you need to put a lot in there. Well, li listen, we're not just gonna be like Smash Pass, like, we're gonna give a reasoning why. Yeah, we are, but we still need more. Like, I, I want this to be able to last at least two hours, and the way that it looks now, it, it probably will last either. At or under at an hour. At least so, an hour. Yeah, so we, we, that's why I keep saying, like, we need more. We need more for the funny. Snoozy, put Shura on there. I said, you're you're allowed to put characters that we've already any, said yes or no to. Any char any character and, that's been on a previous Master Pass as long, or, a new, or a new one as long as they're not minors. Exactly. Uh, and you're allowed to put characters that either one of us has made. It's okay to do that because yeah. we're going to have reactions to those characters. So do it. Do it right mm -hmm. now, Snooski. I dare you. Do it. Fucking do it. Do it or no Sammy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right now, Snooski, or I'm putting a pause on, on the thing. Uh, Rainier says, my brain kind of blue screen today, but uh, Sunny was associated with honey flavor. What flavor was Drake associated with? So we, we said, like, scents more, but uh, so honey is Sunny's favorite thing to eat. Uh, most fables have like a fruit, but for Sunny, it's straight up honey. Um, Drake is associated with the smell of pine and berries. So I guess if you want to say like a taste, probably the berries. Yeah. So probably like a drink of some sort. I want to say probably berries. like, uh, so what I used for the, the perfume is blackberry blossom. So let's just say if we, we need to pick like a specific thing, we'll just say blackberries. Yeah. God, this smells so good. <laughs> As I immediately go to smell it. Uh, <laughs> what type of wood is Mirage's favorite to start working with? So that one I can't answer because I'm not personally a woodworker. <laughs> so that's something that I would actually have to do research on. Can we put I know characters... what type of wood I can give him. Hey, mm -hmm. anyway. Can we put characters that you might not know about? Yeah. Uh, so to do that, list yeah. the character and list what they're from. Their because series or show or what or movie or whatever. I'm going to be actually like going through and getting images of each one um, so that I can put them up on the screen. Um, just realize that if it's a character from something that we don't know about, we're probably not going to have as much of an emotional response. So it might be like, a, ooh, that's hot, probably smash, or I don't know. But uh, if you want to get, like, the emotional responses from us, you're going to want characters that we know. But we'll still do anything. Absolutely. Just give us entries. Yeah. Old characters, new, any. It's fine. No minors. No yeah, children. no minors. Children are not allowed. Nope. <laughs> or real people. Yeah, no real people either. Very so, true. So, don't you guys go put in Markiplier? <laughs> yeah, no. The, the only thing I'll accept for quote-unquote real people is if it's specifically the characters. Like, let's say that you put Loki in there, like Tom Hiddleston's Loki. Yeah. Like, if it's the character, 
will think not about it. But if it's the actor, absolutely fucking not. That's a little weird. Like yeah. it's fine. If, it, it's fine if you think an actor is like hot. But, but we're not doing we're not Smasher gonna, Pass. We're not gonna. We're not gonna do Smasher Pass <laughs> with real people. No. Verity says, make the Smasher Pass stream the same as the Grape Soda stream. It can then seamlessly shift into a Drinker Pass. No, oh I, I can't do that, though, because I don't want to age-restrict the the drink one. Uh, the Smasher Pass is going to be age-restricted. Normally, we don't, but this time, because I want us to be able to go a little bit off the walls with it, it's going to be uh, 18 plus. I'm going to have to be careful or, or big man YouTube will not like what I will say in that stream. <laughs> Daddy YouTube, please don't demonetize me. It's already Daddy, only going to be a partial da Daddy, monetization. <laughs> Daddy YouTube is going to come after our asses with the unholy things that will <laughs> leave the my paddle. mouth. <laughs> Daddy YouTube's coming after us with the paddle. Uh, bye, Hickory. <laughs> it's coming at us with a newspaper. Yep. Yeah, we got five minutes left in the stream, so... But yeah, make this. Wait, I already read that one. Sorry. Uh, we'll do anything. Yeah, that's the point of the Smasher Pass stream to find that out. Yeah, true. <laughs> Everyone's just like, bye, Hickory. Bye. I love how when I was trying to think of a live-action character, the only one I could think of immediately was Loki. <laughs> Is there any reason in mind? I mean, I do like Loki. <laughs> but also, I think that's, that's like, one of the, the la latest live a Well, no, it's not. Star Wars has been the latest live-action shit. I don't know. I don't know which the Marvel in there that nobody cares about because Marvel is lacking. <laughs> Remember to put Eldritch Beasts on the Smasher Pass list, guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Please do. The more monstery, the better. There it is. Says, Every time G Knight talks about the Smasher Pass, he lays out ominous prophecies for the dark thoughts he will unleash. <laughs> yes. Good. That's what we want to see. The weird yes, shit. Sir. Yes. YouTube <coughs> would not like it. <laughs> are you asking me that specifically, Mila? Or are you asking YouTube that? Because if I'm being fully honest, I wouldn't post that shit anyway. That be, would be something people have to pay extra for. Not say for work Whoa. audios. Look, I ain't against it, but I gotta make money somehow. This job is not lucrative. <laughs> I do this out of love. Like, let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at something. Just so, just so y'all know, if ever, if anybody here wants to become a YouTuber, uh, let me look at this real quick. So, of course, it's not showing me. <laughs> so the last time I got paid from YouTube was October 24th of last year. For $102. Uh, I am actually going to get paid this month. $105. So it has been... So November, December, January, February, March. It's been six months since I've gotten paid by YouTube. And in those six months, I've made $100. So uh, unless you, you make it big like some YouTubers do... Uh, when you're when you're just starting out, when you're a little little tiny YouTuber, you do not make much. YouTube is rough. It is rough. Uh, not saying that if you want to do it that you shouldn't. Just be prepared for it to take a long time. 
what, what I've noticed is for people to start actively making money to like live comfortably off of YouTube, it takes them about 10 years. And even then, like, they start getting really severely burnt out. Like, uh, Jacksepticeye actually just came out with a video because a lot of people were worried that he was going to retire uh, because uh, Matt Pat did. And he admitted he's only got about two years left in him and then he will probably also retire. And he was thinking about retiring this year because a lot of YouTubers, like when you really get into it, you devote so much of your life to it that you do in fact burn yourself out. So if you want to get into being a YouTuber, do not, you know, oh my God. Verity says, if anyone wants to become a YouTuber, the biggest piece of advice is do not say slurs. Yeah. Yep. Um, Susie says, I'll pay extra for some zap. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. Read to do it for you. I know it. Uh, but yeah. No, no money so, so if you all want to become YouTubers, just be prepared for a lot of hard work and for it to take a long time for you to get anywhere, <laughs> which is not saying not to do it. Just be prepared. It's not going to be a thing where you, you magically gain popularity overnight, you know? Also, it is time to end the stream. No more. No more. Thank you for coming, everybody. We appreciate you. Uh, it's always fun giving advice and stuff. Look at them. They look so cute. They peeking. They peeking. I'll probably, I'll probably move them. Up. So there you go. That's better. Aha. I was uh, I was trying to just do it that way because I thought ah the light is but they, they look like the colors don't match they look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it happens. All right, all right, guys, we will see y'all later. Uh, send Unite good vibes because he go into the doctor. Uh, I'm gonna go do an errand, and then uh, we'll watch Godzilla later. But yeah, yeah. Goodbye, everyone.